Hello everyone. This video is a sequence to the previous video. In this video we will learn how to find a particular solution depending upon the function fn. Now consider a linear non-homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients c0, c1, c2, ck where c0 is not equal to 0 say and ck also not equal to 0. Let us suppose that a and h be the homogeneous solution of the equation. It is the homogeneous part genius part of solution a. So our next question is if a and h be the homogeneous part of the solution then what will be the particular solution? How to find the particular solution? As to write or assume a particular solution depend upon homogeneous part and function fn we will draw a table to find that particular solution. Say fn be a constant multiple of below functions. Constant multiple of below forms. So number one, if fn be a constant, here c stands for constant, then what will be the assumption for particular solution? Assumption for particular solution will be again a constant A. Now if function fn equals to n then the particular solution will be a1n plus a0 where a1 and a0 are again constant. In case of n square the solution will be a to n square plus a1 n plus a0. So we can generalize this to function fn equals to n raised to power t. In this case of polynomial the particular solution will be a t n raised to power t plus a t minus 1 n raised to power t minus 1 plus so on a1 n plus a0. Now what will happen if you have a function fn equals to r raised to power n where r stands for any real number. In this case we will take particular solution as some constant a into r raised to power n. If the function fn is equals to some n raised to power t multiplied by r raised to power n then the particular solution will be r raised to power n again a polynomial multiply with the polynomial a t n t plus a t minus 1 n raised to power t minus 1 plus so on a 1 n plus a naught. Now if we have trigonometric function sin theta n sin cos theta n then the particular solution will be a sin theta n plus b cos theta n. Linear combination of two independent solution. Same for cos theta n. Now let us explain this with an example. Now consider a simple example of non-homogeneous recurrence relation a n plus 1 minus a n equals to n where a2 equals to 1. So to solve this recurrence relation we first find out the homogeneous part of the solution. Now the characteristic equation for the homogeneous part will be r minus 1 equals to 0 that means the value of r equal to 1 so therefore we have 
associated homogeneous solution written as a n h equals to some constant c 1 raised to power n where c denotes any arbitrary constant now what will be the particular solution according to our table if you have function fn equals to n then particular solution must be see a naught plus a1 n now in this case if we take the particular solution as a naught plus a1 n then this solution consists of two part one is constant one is a1 n as homogeneous solution part already consists of constant so combination of these two solution will be independent so in order to make the solution independent we have to neglect this option instead we will choose the particular solution as a naught plus a one n into n. That means particular solution will be a naught n plus a one n square. So now this particular solution is the solution of the above reference relation. So we substitute. this equation this sorry this solution into the above reference relation that is a n plus 1 minus a n equals to n so we have a 1 n plus 1 square plus a naught n plus 1 minus a 1 n square plus a naught n equals to n. Now by comparing the coefficient of n n square on both sides we get a1 equal to a1 coefficient of n we get 2a1 plus a0 equal to a0 plus 1 and when we put n equal to 0 then we get a1 plus a0 equals to 0 that means the value of a1 comes out to be 1 by 2 and as a1 equals to minus a0 therefore a0 equals to minus 1 by 2. So particular solution is 1 by 2 n square plus minus 1 by 2 n. Hence, we have the complete solution a n equals to homogeneous part that is c this is the homogeneous part plus particular solution 1 by 2 n square minus 1 by 2 n. Now we will put the boundary uh, initial condition which is given as a2 equal to 1. So put this value a2 equal to 1 in this equation we will get the value of constant and that constant c comes out to be 0. Hence the solution of 
this reconciliation is a n half n into n minus 1. So this completes the solution of the reckless relation. Now let us consider another example of a reckless relation. Now in this example one should try to find out what will be the particular solution in case the function fn will be a constant or a polynomial or some r raised to power n. Now to solve this reckless relation first we have to find out the homogeneous part. So what will be the homogeneous part of this equation? To find the homogeneous part we have to find out the characteristic equation. which come out to be r square minus 10 r plus 21 equals to 0. It is a quadratic equation. If we solve this quadratic equation, the roots come out to be r equal to 3 and 7. The roots of characteristic equation will be used in homogeneous part and the homogeneous part of this reckless relation is c1 3 raised to power n plus c2 7 raised to power n where c1 and c2 both are constants. Now my question is if I assume the function fn equal to 5 then what will be the particular solution so by taking the sample of previous table it can easily be seen that particular solution must be some constant a naught what will be the particular solution if we take 7 11 raised to power n so since 11 raised to power n does not involved in homogeneous part which is 3 raised to power n 7 raised to power n so particular solution will be some constant a naught 11 raised to power n but if I take the function fn 3 raised to power n then the particular solution will be some constant say a1 into 3 raised to power n as 3 raised to power n is already present in homogeneous part you can see here so we will multiply it with n so particular solution will be a1 and 3 raised to power n what if the function fn we have 4 3 raised to power n plus some 5 7 raised to power n as both 3 raised to power n 7 raised to power n are already included in homogeneous part therefore particular solution will be some constant b into n 3 raised to power n plus some constant c n 7 raised to power n. So it all decided by function fn and homogeneous part. For reference purpose you can use the book of Grimaldi title of the book is discrete and combinatorial mathematics. So it is a very good book by Ralph P. Grimaldi, Discrete and Combinatorial Mathematics. We will continue this lecture in our next session. Thank you.